you know, science looks at it like, well, there are other dimensions. Yeah, we're here, but around us there are there are these other dimensions, and they there are theories about where are these dimensions. And to me, I find them very humorous. One of them is that they're curled up inside each other. They're like spiraled inside of each other as though other dimensions were a place or like the dimension, so to speak, or the perception of reality that we find ourselves in right now. But if there are, if it is other dimensional, then it is not as it is now. It is a perspective, say, more inclusive or higher than the one that, that we're in. And it's not made out of the same parameters if it is another dimension. The, the sort of higher or, or otherness of it go together. Other dimension means different in probably every possible way. So, but what we have, what the scientific, uh, the material scientific approach has in, in common with Kabbalah is that they're, they both say everything happens here, but what we experience is different in different dimensions. So, Kabbalah is a way of changing, expanding our perception of reality. Uh, and it tells us what the basis of reality is and what gets expanded, what changes so that, that our perception changes. And it doesn't change uh, through theoretical analysis or through work in the mind or, or through mathematical calculations. It happens through changing the one who wishes to perceive reality differently. Well, then, then what that one is the scientist that's undergoing the change. What's changing? What inside of a person in their present state needs to change? How does it change? What's the result of the change? And what is it uh, in, that reality is made of that even allows for or, or uh, supports this kind of change? So yes, Kabbalah says yes. It tells us what the basis of it is, and it's not what we expect it to be. It tells us uh, the purpose of, of living in a multidimensional dimensional uh, expanding perception of reality. It, it tells us what the end game is as well. And it focuses on the thing that is absolutely closest to us, and that is what you might call the heart. It starts with the higher, the highest dimension and gives us a map from that highest dimension, and it shows us how to get to expand our happiness. Uh, our, ex our experience of good, our overall perception and positive connection to absolutely everything. That's what it is. It sounds unbelievable, but that's only because it's hidden from us right now.